football, Black Friday, and Japanese club. All on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Mr. Letarte, and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. Hey Novi, your culture club is having a meeting on Friday, November 17th at 2.50 p.m. in room 182 to celebrate the Yupik culture and to also celebrate the Native American Heritage Month. Snacks are provided and all are welcome. Have a good day, Novi. What's up, Novi? I'm here to let you know that on November 28th, the Japanese club will be hosting the Japanese Women's Club of Detroit for their annual calligraphy meeting. There is a $2 fee for students and 75% of proceeds will be donated to the women's club for all their assistance throughout the school year. They look forward to seeing you there and remember to wear clothes that you won't mind getting dirty. If you're interested in snowboarding or just want to give it a try, check out Snowboard Cross Race Club. If you're interested, scan this QR code or DM them at this Instagram above by December 1st. Are you interested in donating to the Red Cross Blood Drive? Sure. If you are too, then you should go to the Meteor Center Forum on November 28th during the school day. It's getting cold outside and everybody's getting sick. Well, if you didn't know, we actually have two school nurses, so I decided to interview one of them, Mrs. Ferris, and ask her about this upcoming flu season. Hi, I'm Kathy Ferris. I'm one of the district nurses for Novi, all of Novi schools. You're welcome to come down anytime. If you have anything that you need to talk about or if you're sick, we can always help you. We are the district nurses, so we're not always in the building, um, but we will help if we're here. So any symptoms that um, you don't feel are manageable at home, you should not come to school. You know, sometimes we wake up with a sore throat and a couple hours later we're fine. But if you have a sore throat that's not being helped with any medication or anything, you need to stay home and take care of that. If you're hacking up a lung in class, you shouldn't come. And also it's very frustrating when we see kids come in for two hours a day, if they have a, f a fifth and sixth hour test or something like that, if you're sick, you are sick the day. So unless you have a doctor's note, you should not be able to come um, the last couple hours of school. It's recommended sometimes to get a flu shot if that's something that you and your family like to do. Um, also just get good sleep, good eating habits, which I know are sometimes very hard for high school students to do. Use your elbow to sneeze, wash your hands, and that'll keep you a little bit more safe. We do have a small amount of tissues that we give to teachers and um, hand sanitizer. I just got a large order from Oakland schools that we were able to hand out. So we do have lots of hand sanitizer through maintenance that we can get you if you want them in your classrooms. You just need to reach out to me or Danielle Stacer. She's our other nurse and we can get you those supplies. All right, well, that's all I have for today. Special thank you to Mrs. Ferris for her time and insight. And I hope you guys learned something. This is Luke signing off. Hey, Novi, Black Friday is next week. Which got me thinking, do you rather do online or in-person shopping? I went to the hallway and a couple of classrooms to get some students' opinions. Uh, online shopping because there is less of a chance I'll get a black eye in the end. Online because it, I just feel like there's a lot more variety of things that you can see rather than being in a store and there's everybody there looking for the same TV. <laughs> online is definitely for something that is like, I'm... I could wait on it, but in person is definitely if it's urgent, you know. Online because you don't have to deal with all the crazy people. Um, I'd do online shopping. Um, I prefer in-person shopping so I can try things on and just have a funner experience. Uh, I prefer online and because you don't have to go nowhere and you can just order online, you feel me? So it's like, you don't gotta go nowhere. It doesn't really matter as long as the Lions win. Usually it's better to shop in person because online, sometimes you don't get what you want. Definitely online because in person, it would be probably a rush and I'd probably be trampled by a lot of people. In person, I'm not much of a one for computers. Hey Novi, we've noticed that there are new lunch tables in the cafeteria. Let's see how people feel about them. I really like them. I like the couches. Me and my friends love them. 
they're fantastic. I actually have the chance to sit in one of the nice uh, booths during parent-teacher conferences. Hope the students are really enjoying the fancy flex furniture that we offer. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with the old ones. They just kind of seem like a waste of money. Um, I think it's good because, like, if you have a bigger, if you sit with a bigger group of people, like the couches will like fit more. Oh. Yeah. I think it's like nice to have like the couches. It like makes eating like more desirable, and I think it's cool. Hey, Novi. Thanks for tuning in to learn about how others feel about the new lunch tables. Next thing we have is Unc. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Novi, and welcome to this week's episode of College Game Day. Starting off with Utah at Arizona. Arizona's been really good this year, and Utah just came off a tough loss at Washington, but I think Utah's going to have the momentum. Give me Utah. I'm going to agree with Jacob. I think Utah takes this one on the road. They competed with Washington, so yeah, give me the Utes. Arizona's been red hot as of late, but still, give me the Utes in this one. Their defense is scary good. Uh, next game we have is Georgia at Tennessee. Tennessee's mid. Uh, Georgia's the best team in the country. Give me Georgia. Just like Braylon said, Georgia is the best team in the country. We saw what they did to Ole Miss last week. Uh, they're going to do that again this week to Tennessee. Give me Georgia. I picked Tennessee to win last week. They let me down immensely. Give me Georgia. Next game we have is a rivalry game between Kansas State and Kansas at Kansas. I think the Jayhawks come away with a win at home here. This is the biggest rivalry game of the year. Kansas State at Kansas. Uh... Give me Kansas. Give me the Jayhawks in this one. They're America's team. Next game we have is Washington at Oregon State. I think Washington is going to be in the playoffs, so I think they're going to go into Oregon State and handle business. Washington is going to be very motivated. They had a great win against Utah last week. Uh, game day should have been there. I don't know why they're at James Madison, but they're going to be they're going to be motivated. Give me Washington. I think Washington's going to keep rolling. Give me Washington. Next game we have is North Carolina at Clemson. I'm a big North Carolina guy, but I think going into Death Valley, they kind of lost their hot streak. Give me the Tigers in this one. I don't like either of these teams. I don't like Clemson even more. Dabo Sweeney is a joke. Give me North Carolina. Yeah, uh, give me Drake May and UNC in this one. That will conclude our episode of College Game Day this week. We will see you next week. Let us know if you want to be featured. See you later, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey, Drew Wildcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. Stay tuned for our next episode coming out soon. But in the meanwhile, Wildcats, see you later.